Understanding, chasing one's tail, an English idiom explained. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fun and interesting English idiom, chasing one's tail. This phrase is often used in everyday English, and understanding its meaning and usage can really enhance your language skills. So, let's get started and unravel the mystery behind this quirky expression. Chasing one's tail is an idiom that paints a vivid picture. Imagine a dog spinning around, trying to catch its own tail. This is a futile and endless activity, right? Similarly, when we say someone is chasing their tail, we mean that they are engaged in a task that is pointless, unproductive, or endlessly circular. It often implies a lack of progress despite significant effort. To help you understand better, let's look at some examples. 1. I've been chasing my tail all day trying to solve this problem. But I'm still at square one. Here, the speaker is expressing frustration over spending a lot of time and effort without any progress. 2. The committee has been chasing its tail with these discussions, going around in circles without reaching a decision. This illustrates a group engaged in an unproductive activity, not moving towards a conclusion. The idiom, chasing one's tail, likely originates from the literal action of animals, particularly dogs, who sometimes chase their tails. This action is seen as pointless and never-ending, which perfectly encapsulates the essence of the idiom. Over time, this imagery became a metaphor for human activities that are similarly fruitless and repetitive. When using, chasing one's tail, keep these tips in mind. 1. Use it in informal contexts. This idiom is best suited for casual conversations or informal writing. 2. Emphasize frustration or lack of progress. It's most effective when you want to convey a sense of frustration due to lack of progress. 3. Combine with descriptive scenarios. Paint a picture of the situation to make your use of the idiom more impactful. That's a wrap on, chasing one's tail. We hope this video has given you a clear understanding of this idiom and how you can use it in your everyday English. Remember, learning idioms can be both fun and rewarding, as they add flavor to your language skills. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to practice using this idiom in your conversations. See you in the next video.